friends welcome to elka a very happy and happening day to you all i'm so delighted to interact with you all again today i have brought yet another episode of geography lesson all about knowing landforms my kinesthetic and visual learners will greatly enjoy this playful lesson using symbols they will explore the characteristics of various landforms of the world i love teaching science and geography and this theme is my favorite i have made it exciting and fun for the students because they will have hands on experience i have created posters of landforms of real life versions so as to make the concept very clear i have used clay to make the landforms so as to make it appear like real landforms so let us get back to the activity this is meant for 3 plus children onwards this is gatik a grade 1 student hello gatik today we are going to learn all about landforms of the earth as you know this is earth and it is covered by land and water first we will look at only two of them lake and island now i am going to pour water into these trays to make different landforms watch carefully this is a lake wow blue water this is lake this is a lake Gatik, this is an island. This is lake, and this is island. Lake is a body of water surrounded by land from all sides. This is island, a piece of land surrounded by water from all sides, are opposite to each other. Can you see? They are opposite to each other. Can you show me lake? Lake. Can you show me island? Island. We will learn about all the landforms through cards. I think these are the ten landforms. We are going to learn the names of it. This is lake. 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 Lake is. a body of water surrounded by land from all sides lake lake this is an island island is a piece of land surrounded by water from all sides island island and lake and island they are opposite to each This is bay. Bay. Yes. Bay is when a part of sea or ocean reaches the land. It is called bay. This is k. 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 K is form when a pointed part of land reaches the sea then cape is formed cape cape bay and cape are opposite to each other bay and cape are opposite to each other yes peninsula 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 is long body long piece of land which reaches the ocean is called peninsula this is gulf 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 is when long body of water 
which is the land is called gulf peninsula and gulf are opposite to each other isthmus 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 is narrow strip of land that joins two big pieces of land and it is surrounded by water on both sides isthmus isthmus this is strait 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 is long body of water which joins two seas and it is situated between two pieces of land strait strait isthmus and strait are opposite to each other archipelago 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 is a group of islands in the sea situated in the sea is called archipelago archipelago system of lakes is when a group of lakes are formed situated at the same place system of lakes system of lakes archipelago and system of lakes are opposite to each other so we have five opposites we we will go we'll read the names once again lake island bay cape peninsula gulf isthmus strait archipelago system of lakes so we have learned the names of 10 landforms today okay gatik these are another set of landform cars but they are without names you can see that they are without names okay and these are name slips you have to match these um, name slips with all the landforms so let's start peninsula system of lakes archipelago strait gulf island bay Let's read all the landforms once again. Island, lake, bay, cape, gulf, peninsula, isthmus, strait, archipelago, system of lakes. That's correct. See the real version of landforms. Landforms. Yes. Ice island, lake, bay of Bengal. Cape Rock of Cape Gulf Peninsula Isthmus Strait Archipelago System of Lakes Dear friends through Elcom I am trying to create a resource 
which parents and early childhood teachers can use to fill the gaps left by formal education and become more proactive in children learning. I'm trying to make more than 50 activities aimed at empowering children to use their individual strengths and engage in meaningful experiences to enhance their social, emotional, fine, gross motor skills and other developmental domains. There will be activities for each subject catering to children between 2 to 6 year olds. Each subject is explained from the point of view that how a child's learning develops so that a parent can understand how exactly to help in the learning process. How to create a playful learning space with the activities meant to be used when your child shows an interest in a particular direction. I'm sure you will find enough ways to channel your child's exploratory skills. Wish you happy learning.